Morning, everyone. Welcome to Talking Horses. Andy Sterling in the Clubhouse Studio. Anthony Stabile, he's to my left. He'll be joining me in just a minute. Nine race card today. Lots to talk about. Lots for you to do. Head over to Naira Bets if you're not a member. We'll match up to a $200 deposit bonus. Use the promo code Big A. Also, $100 or more of action at Fairgrounds on the app and the app only. We'll get you a $10 bonus. Anthony, we got nine to talk about. No time to fool around. Get to work. Let's go. Race number one. Uh, we'll start the conversation race number one with a horse who's two to one on the line. You know I'm not going to be betting on, and that's the five fractorization. Here's fractorization, and this was a fracture if you needed this horse. Wow. If you needed this horse for a score, this horse got beat in the proverbial shadow of the wire. Big long shot, Jimmy Toner, right? Yep. Joey Martinez, I think. I believe so. At the end. Yeah, this is a tough money. beat. Um, it's funny because we did see turf horses win yesterday, right? We saw the uh, Mark Hennig horse. Thanks for reminding me. never, uh, yeah. the ones you didn't pick. And, and a very, very difficult one in that Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Bond horse that won yesterday as well, prioritized, who'd been off form, circled the field to win in a kind of funny race, in, a, in an odd result race. So we did see a couple turf horse win. I, I still don't bet them, and it's because, in general, they, they underperform. And if this horse is a short price, I'm going to play against this horse. Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, and he's a little different because he has a little, uh, she has a little dirt experience. It wasn't a great uh, debut. Enjoy running. Been doing any running. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Why would you want her in here? Third horse in at best, and I don't even know if you want three in here. Yeah, I, I don't. I agree. I put her third because I didn't want anybody else. Now, you have the 1A Nikki Scissors on top. Um, I'll show you a stat, though, which I'm sure you didn't see for what it's worth. New York Breds at Naira, first time starters, three for 25. Dollar fifteen ROI, and you know one thing I don't think of Jason Service as being exceptional is first time starters. No, I agree. I know people say, "Oh, maximum security one first time out." It, it doesn't matter. A year ago yesterday, not good. A year ago yesterday for the uh, yeah. maximum security. My claim got voided. I meant to buy him. Your claim got voided. I meant to I buy you him. wanted to claim. I had fifteen thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. I thought you wanted a math wizard. I've been happy with any of them. Anyhow, I don't know. I just thought this horse would get over bet because a it's an entry yep. and b it's Jason Service. I wanted the one A and the six, and yeah, I want the six. I want Sharp Star in here. Okay. Sharp Star is a half to. Uh, actually, I think he's a. Is he a full or a half? The Papa Shot. No, no, Papa Shot Story Papa Humor. Papa Shot Story Humor. Yeah, and uh, and Speak, who's another runner. So there have been runners in this dam, and this is a homebred for uh, Barry Schwartz and his Stonewall Farm. Ratio to pause as this one. I took this one on top. Okay. Yeah, I like the one A and the six, and that's uh, that's what I'll be doing in the first. All right. Race number two. Race number two, I think, centers around the seven. It's all relevant. I know David doesn't have him the favorite in the morning line. I thought he'd be favored in here. He has to be, doesn't um, he? I don't know. You know, I respect David's lines. He's accurate more often than not. So, uh, you know, he was a win machine, and obviously it was over his head last time out. I don't know how he's ever favored over Candy Graham in that race. But he did not run at all. I don't know, you know. We'll show you a stat for Linda Rice off four to six, four to eight-month layoffs and dirt routes, not very strong. and. I just feel like a horse like this gets its mojo going, and I just wonder if the horse keeps the mojo going. Listen, I, I, it's hard to argue that maybe he needs one off the break as well. Uh, this is not a great stat. No, it's not. You know, for a horse that's kind of ridden the roller coaster, right? He was cut out to be a nice horse early on when he was with yeah. uh, when he was with Vinny Viola. Some good and, horses. Yeah, when he was, and you know, he was uh, he was cut out to be a nice one. And look, man plans, and the, the Lord laughs, and. He winds up in these, uh, how about that, a little... Uh, Seriously, dude? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, he's at a claim race. Look, Kyle's embarrassed. I think he'll be the favorite today. Uh, but you picked him. I did pick him. I, you know, I just, I don't trust the rest of them. I don't trust him. I don't trust the rest of them. If they all come with their A race, it's very hard for me to imagine them beating this horse. I bet today. against horses like it's all relevant. Okay. I think over a long period, you do well. I didn't get. I was surprised David had Curl and Rose the favorite. And I know he even likes this horse. I, I, I don't. I don't get it at all. Well, who I else would you make the favorite in here? I think the also, only I two, it's, it's all relevant to be favored. I, they're I mean, the only I, two horses you can make the favorite. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't see this uh, in the same way he did. I, I think you're going to see much more money for Siding Spring in this race. Um, be Siding Spring. Based on the turf form? Yes, except the only problem with that is this horse ran well in the dirt. 
This horse started out in the dirt early in his career at Keeneland and Oakland Park. He's running solid figures early in his year, 80, 80 plus buyers in his races back in 2016. Yeah, Mark tried to get him on the Derby Trail very early yeah, this, in his career. This was a legit. This horse had, horse had legitimate dirt races early in his career, and it's not like he improved in the turf when he was born in the turf. So I'm not sure this horse can handle the dirt. Now maybe three years later he doesn't want to be in the dirt anymore, right. but. I'm sorry, this horse has shown to handle the dirt. He is not going to be 5-1 to one in this race. I won't be surprised when he's very close to favoritism in here. Okay. Listen, these turf horses get that anyway. True. And now you've got a horse that even jerks like me are looking it up and seeing that the horse can run in the dirt. Well, I mean, so you not only have the people who miss bad horses because of turf figs, you got people that are looking up the dirt races and right. say you can bet this horse. He can win. Um, I don't think it'll be a big price. I, I have to pick American Lincoln in this race. Jimmy Ryerson, I didn't put the stats up, but he's got very, very solid numbers off the claim. And obviously things went wrong in the sloppy seal track last time. But prior to that, I thought his form was consistent and fine. And I thought this was a very interesting claim by Jimmy Ryerson. He's given him some time since that race. I'm going to take an optimistic viewpoint that American Lion, I, I, why is he so, I mean, David has him twice the price of the line as Tale of Mist. Well, Tale of Mist can't win this race. I don't believe that buyer figure last time out. I know it was a gappy race. I think there have been some issues with seven furlong races in general. I don't know where it came from. He's not a winning type. I wouldn't want any part of him. Wouldn't you want, wouldn't you take two to one that American Lincoln finishes ahead of Tale of Mist? I guess not. You've got Taylor Miss third. I didn't see him. I don't like player. American Lincoln, but I mean, what, what's I don't wrong have, with American Lincoln? I, there's nothing really. I mean, what's wrong with him? Where, has he, been, where seal? has he been for four months? Um, he was working the party circuit. I don't know. He, he, he's done his best work. Where on, has he on been for months? Meanwhile, you pick a horse that's going to be eight to five that hasn't run since May. Right, but, but you're saying but where I, has American but, Lincoln been? But he, 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 I'm picking a horse that obvi I know where. It's all relevant spin. He's been where? Convo he's been, he's been recuperating from whatever's bothered him for the Biden? last two and a half years. You're nuts. You know what I mean? I like American Lincoln. Okay. You don't. Race <laughs> number three. I'm going to use the two five. True. Here. I'm going to use the two and five in here. I thought that one of those two had a good chance to win. Um, race number three. There's not a lot going on in race number three. We'll show power up painters last race. Um, I'm not sure why Kendrick committed so much the rail. I guess it sort of worked out where he had nowhere else to go, and that was why he was trying to get outside. That horse wouldn't let him get outside. And he ended up getting caught in a little bit of a jackpot. The problem with Power Up Painter is, and you compare him to my horse, Imperio D, they debuted together on July 18th at Saratoga on a dry track, and Imperio D easily beat him. Beat him and easily, And you see that Power too. Up Painter, that traffic? Yeah, he had a little traffic. Didn't really affect his performance. He angled out top of the stretch and had nothing. He's really more of a turf horse, and I don't necessarily think he's really a dirt horse power-up painter, and I, I just think Imperial D is a better bet at a bigger price, I think. Okay. I want the two, three, four, and five, and I want to What am I missing about our Troubadour? Just dropped it, dropped down. There's not really much. But else he's to never say here. run a step yeah, on dirt. Yeah, I know. But one of the races was in a slop. I'm just the what other about race, his first was race? His debut. It was his debut going six and a half. I'm just going to try and see if he can uh, if he can wake up a little bit here with the drop down. Okay. Eddie loves him today. I didn't talk to Eddie about Ed, it. Tell the truth. Eddie, Eddie My guess him. is going to be Eddie likes the horse. Yeah, I don't. Um, Beta doesn't seem impossible. He ran against much better horses yeah. last time out. I mean, his last legitimate. I think Beta is. Uh, I think Beta is a perfectly logical turn. I was going to use two, three, and four. I'm using two, three, four, five. Okay. I didn't see our Troubadour at all. I thought he was possibly the edge of the race. And Power Up Painter is a little bit of a dubious heavy favorite. Mm -hmm. I think he falls apart under heavy scrutiny. Race number four. <coughs> Race number four, every jerk in the place is going to take Carthon. But let's talk about I Love Jackson, who is the horse to beat in here. And this is two races back when he beat Daneberry. I know he didn't run last time, but he was chasing in the kickback last time out. That weird time in that very, very competitive network effect race. <coughs> Maybe he falls apart, I Love Jackson, but his form had been very, very good. And if he gets back to his form before the last race, he's going to be very much the horse to beat. Yeah, he ran against better last time. And like you said, the kickback. Uh... Yeah, he's the horse to beat, but like you said, every uh, quote unquote wise guy is going to wind up making Carthon. I think by, by the time it's all said and done, I think there's a chance we all make this horse the favorite today. No, I love Jackson. You know, they're, they're going to be out of Jackson? Yeah, I just wonder how much money this horse is going to take off the train of change to Rudy. I think it'll be very, very close between the two, and I think there's a chance Carthon's the favorite because I don't, I don't know. I don't. 
I don't know if people are going to completely rely on that kickback being the excuse for Doesn't matter. He's got fast figures two, three, and four back. Yeah, he does. So it, it's it's I think it's highly unlikely. Okay. We could bet. We could bet. No, We're I won't. I won't bet just, it. I won't bet it. But I, it would give you not, three to two. It would not surprise I'll me. I'll give you three to two. No. I'm just trying to suck you in. No. Call Frank. The drawing away people might hate those favorite alone. I'll tell you what I don't think is impossible in here. The thing with Carthon is Carthon's really helped by the scratch of Foolish Ghosts because now it's more just Daneberry and Carthon and a much more moderate But it helps Shamrock Kid. And Carthon is a horse that at one time had very, very good form. Doesn't help Car doesn't help Shamrock Kid to have a scratch of a speed. Well, the other um, two being in here. Let me no? just finish talking about Carthon, because I just want it's not just Rudy claiming this horse. You're talking about a horse Carthon at one time had very good form. The question is, what has happened to him, and can Rudy get him back in good form? Now, Rudy has great numbers off the claim uh, in dirt routes. And I'll tell you something about the car throwing, the claim for 50. Two days or three days before this, he was entered as an MTO and a $25,000 tag, which is kind of interesting. I'm a little concerned that his form has completely left him, okay. and Rudy does have to get him back. I picked him. I don't think he'd be favored. Shamrock kid. I don't care about a sloppy track race last time chasing his blue speed around. Two races back, he ran a very big race. The problem with him is he has to stop getting left. Yeah, and that, you know, last time it could have been a little bit too quick of a turnaround. It was only 16 days, and now he gets almost a month, right? I think it's just about... Uh, 27 days. Yeah. It's 30. That's a lot. Months, three days less. That's a lot. 30 months. It's a big, diff it's a big difference there. I'm just going to ignore you today. Um, <laughs> that's a big difference. You know, I think it could help. Try. I, I also want to see you said that about getting, getting the, have the, having to break that bad habit of getting left. He didn't get he, left last time. He didn't. In, in the shorter field, he may get pulled into the race a little earlier. No, but still, the lack of pace. I, I just think he's not impossible. I think the two, three, and five. I don't want any part of Dane Berry. Uh, I've just seen enough of Dane he Berry. Had a, well, he had it all his own way when they foolishly took Carthon off the pace in the I Love Jackson race, and he still couldn't close the door. Right, and he had all the best of it. Yeah. Race number five. I think race number five starts a series of three races that are absolutely inscrutable, and Anthony and I, if we had the time we used to have in the show, we could really spend a lot of time actually discussing this race because there is a lot of things to discuss in race number five. Um, I, I'll be honest, and, and by the way, oh, you know what it is? I noticed this. Maggie's back in town, so you picked two Tom Morley horses today. You are such a sucker. You really are. It's embarrassing. It really is. I didn't know she picked any Morley horses while she was out of town. When, uh, last time out when all my <laughs> papa came off the break, he, uh, he didn't show the speed. He showed before the break. He wasn't got a very good trip. He got though. a very good trip. Yep. Uh, I would like to see Benji a little bit more aggressive today. Benji and Anders. But let me ride. ask you a question. Uh, you, the only you, other horse in here that had any kind of speed that could stay with him, I think, is Leap to Glory, and he he really hasn't had it. What about our last buck? Yeah, I, you know, we've been waiting for our last buck to run back to that well, February well, 10th well, race. Well, we'll get to him in a moment. Um, I'm not, here, I'm I'm not worried I, about. Here, him. You don't think the Manny Franco to Benji Hernandez switch is a little bit scary? Benji lost his bug, huh? When did Benji lose the bug? I don't What's know. Just I don't happened, know right? if Benji lost the bug. No, or no, because maybe... I noticed a bunch of Benji horses okay. without the okay. weight, so I'm assuming he lost the bug. Maddie okay. will probably text me in a minute. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I guess he ran fine last time. Man, did he get a good trip and ride last time. But it was his first start off six months. Okay. And... He's all right. I didn't particularly like him. He can win. I felt my general feeling in these races were is they were super competitive, and win or lose, I'm going to find somebody that's not one of the first two choices. That's my general feeling. Okay. Like, seven is heaven. You know, I took him last time, and he closed to a race that nobody really closed except for the second horse, and that's Jason Service, and they live in a different solar system than the rest of the horses in the planet. Um, solar system. So, you know, his race could two back, but I don't want him at a short price, and we'll see how the race pans out. I don't think there's a ton of speed, but I think there are speed types in here. As far as our last buck, I mean, our last buck, getting a trainer switch to Michelle Nevin, I think it's a significant trainer switch. He rode a gold rail when he ran that big figure. So that big figure is a little dubious to begin with, at five and a half furlongs and a gold rail, so it's probably a 78, you know what I mean? Right. So, still, 
if he ran a number in the 70s here, he could win this race quite easily. I just feel like we've been waiting for that something what, close to that race what, to come back. What about seven? I, I don't disagree, but he's also caught a sloppy track and been in the turf, and the last time was the only time he was in the dirt, and he was chasing wide against the horse that wired on the inside, and there's a chance the rail was the best place to be. So he hasn't really had a fair chance in quite a while. Uh, seven plus seven, we'll take a look at his last race. You know, I keep thinking back to that Gary Gullow horse that you and I bet that broke his maiden at three to one, and we laughed at him the next time he ran. He went off seven to two. It seemed like a joke, and he ran like he should have been one to five. Schoolyard, no. Yeah, whatever the horse last yeah. week. Bro, got an 88 black to buyer. Blacktop legend. Got an, blacktop legend. Got an 88 buyer. And I'll tell you something. This is a race where I wonder if this figure could have been higher. He really was accelerating down the stretch. This was a race after Complexity won. Is this the race? Yeah. Is this, this was the finale I of the like Complexity Day. Complexity being pointed for the Malibu. Um, are you going to be shocked when this no. horse runs well today for nope. Gary? Nope. I took Leap to Glory. I get it. I don't trust him. But I'll tell you something. He's got plenty of races fast enough to win this race. He's going to be in a good stalking position. He gets Junior riding him, and he's not going to be worse than lower than five to one. I just thought he had races that were good enough to win. Five or six Run against some better horses when he ran down here in this race. Yeah, this is a very, very tough race. Very tough race. Probably hard to make race the numbers, one, five, and six. Race number that. six. Who'd you pick in race number six? As long as you can go back to Elias Milos. I didn't. I, don't you feel like Bassman Dave could be favored in here? Baseman Dave. Baseman Dave? I'm going Baseman Dave, yeah. Um, he could. Back to back with Morley. And Benji. You know, Maggie, does Maggie yell at you when you don't pick Tom's horses? No. Okay. You don't have to pick them just because she's back. Oh, man. I'll bet you pick a lot less Tom Morley horses this winter when Maggie's not here for a while. It's not true. None of it's true. None of it's true. Man, you are just scutching today. Poor Maggie's freezing downstairs in our office. It's about 10 degrees yeah, down poor there. Poor Maggie. Well, one of us has to feel bad for her. <laughs> feel bad for her. She has to work with me every day. One of us isn't the one that's also <laughs> cold and worried about poor Maggie. Well, there's a reason you're not cold. I have natural insulation. <laughs> it is cold down there. It's, it's like kinda, an icebox in the cold. office area. It's kind of cold. Uh, as far as baseman, Dave, I don't know. I do? think you Just said go? it best. It's a lot of speed this You race. said it best before we started talking about the fifth race. The fifth, sixth, and seventh races are just, they're full of horses that can win. They're full of horses that can get beat a pole, yeah. right? It's just. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. It's really, right. it's it's he, hard to get through these with the middle of the card today. He can win, baseman Dave. He, he can definitely win. Um, Double drag, right, and cutting in half off the claim and. Yeah, he didn't run that poorly chasing Rickon last yeah, time. I worry about the big drop by Tom. This is a big drop. This is a please take this guy off my hands Maybe, drop. maybe. Anthony. Yeah, I it mean. Is. I Claimed off a bad race. He came back and ran fair. And now he's saying, please take this guy who's a non a one off my hands. Please. I don't like it. He can win. I, I don't disagree. Okay. I, I think a lot of ways the worst to beat. We'll show the race that Elios Milos blew last time. And this was a heartbreaker if you had him. Um, the truth is, and I like Hector, ultimately Hector moved too soon. I think the worst you want to watch is Max Revolution, because I don't really know for sure. But I think there's a real chance that he was completely and totally blocked every time he tried to make a run. I couldn't tell if he had horses. And I know people say, oh, he had a seam there. He's turning his head. He didn't want to go through that hole. They closed it up, tried to go outside. The door gets closed again when the seven drifts out. And it's like every time Max Revolution tried to make a move, somebody was like getting in his way. It almost like a gallop racer type thing. We talk about this I, all the time, though. You've got to be careful with these bottom level claimers and right. trying to bet they're, the trips they're, they're because not, they just. They're not fighting for no. horses the way you know good horses I mean? are doing. I agree. And the thing about Elios Milos is I just don't want him at a short price. No, I mean, you got to use him if you're playing the late pick four, pick five, Empire six, but how could you take five? How could you go to get Naira Betts account and take five to two on this I horse today? You I can't. can't. You, exactly. I totally agree with you. I think you have to use him. No question about it. Um, yeah. I thought Talon Scout wasn't impossible. He actually made a run in that race in the end, and, you know, I don't think he's totally impossible here. He's got some figs that are fast enough. I know he's had some trips. I was going to use 7, 8, 9, 11. 7, 8, 9, I wouldn't, uh, I'll tell you here. right now. The, I, the what about quest, Bourbon for Ride? What about Quest for Fire? He finished like third Quest behind those horses last time. The barn's been going well. The barn's going well. Yeah, I'd like be that very horse. careful. He never wins. Yeah, I, I, he never wins until he wins. Yeah. Be very careful. Okay. And don't forget the 15 draws in here, folks. The four was an early scratch. The 16 came out. I do not like out. the 15. I don't either, but just, you know, just keep in mind the 15 does, does cut draw back in. from a mile. <clears throat> yeah. Race number seven. 
It's another one of these races. I mean, this race is like insane, right? Yeah. You've yep. got big engine. I went the big but engine. But you got a big engine, and he's the favorite. And I, now, if I'm David, I, if I, if I was David. I would need like a very stiff drink about three different times during this After morning this line. One, yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, I'll put it this way. If David got every favorite right on this entire card, then he well, deserves a like a special award. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, you know, the haters hate it when I, when I uh, compliment David for his line. Why? And because they hate the fact that people well, are competent. Because they hate the fact that people are competent in life and they aren't. You know, we call them in Italian miserable. Yeah, it's just great. So these people should try to make the morning line. Uh, try to do it's it. It's scary, but right. it's scary. People are scary. Well, anybody so that thinks it's easy, just look at how bad the morning line is at Gulfstream. You know, Gulf, and, Gulfstream parks. We can go. We can just. We can rattle off fifteen race tracks. Okay, we so to. big engine, speed. Yeah, I mean, you, speed know I, you know Don't you how think Cowboy is going and Wushu Warriors yeah, going? Yeah, but you know what? He's not the speed, Anthony. He's not the speed, but I'll take Jose race. Lascano setting up camp right outside the other speed in here. Listen, another one of these races where I want to use a handful. I'm going to trust in Linda. I'm going to trust in the rider change to Jose. For Jose, more importantly here than anything else, to do the right thing and not get himself engaged in a pace. We'll get this horse off some of the, uh, I don't like using the term, but some of the lesser speed, the cheaper speed, and hopefully you get first run and you can hold off the closers. But listen, another one of these races. I think you can con you can make a very good case for five horses yeah, no, in this no. race. Yeah, I'm not going to say Big Edge can't win, because obviously you can win. Honestly? I don't really like Cool Boy. I'll respect that David likes him. I don't like him. I think Red Zinger is dangerous in this race. Mm -hmm. Red Zinger gets gets a, gets real relief here. He's been running against considerably better horses. Um, I think Wushu Warrior is not impossible in this race. I had him fourth. Horse you put on um, top can win. True Gold, you know, I think, can right, win. Right, I think True Gold can definitely win this race. I think Mystical Song, he doesn't win. Is either horse who's had like 10 different yeah, trainers or something? Him. Right, it's amazing, right? Um, you know, I don't. He doesn't win, but he could be second. I wouldn't totally leave him out oh, of the play. Talk, I don't even want to talk about trying to play exactas and tries in this race. Yeah, I mean, well, what do Trifecta I? Trifecta ticket will cost what, you fifty, what eight, sixty dollars. What do I think? It depends what kind of player you are. Whether it's supers and such, or you know, it's probably some good dime super spread races that sure. you play, fifty sure. cent try boxes, or even exacta box you want, and just find some prices. And you I know, know, middle of the road, and have some price in there because I'm going to be very surprised when we look through today's results and there aren't exactas that paid one hundred and fifty dollars and. You know, solid I know, prices. I know we don't have a lot of time, but just very, very quickly, this is the current, this is the time of year where maybe you have to change your strategy as far as wagering. I like to play a lot of multi-race wagers. Sometimes these sequences with the shorter fields don't, it doesn't pay, but you could find value. Uh, Dance for Tokens, Dancer for Tokens is a great example well, of the last race yesterday. You wound up using him, David liked him. He's a big price behind a horse who, I know he was life and death, but I didn't think that horse could lose. And now all of a sudden you're taking a two to five shot and you're turning him into, what did they have to pay $23 or something? $27 yeah. and try to pay 180 yeah, it's a good example. I like the nine, the last you race play is my differently. alternative, and I had Played a big six nine, and then I saw David Aragona tweeted that like the eight, and I thought, you know, I looked and thought, you know, that horse makes sense Gotta to play me. A little and why you have to listen to people whose opinions you respect? And you don't have to agree with them. And sometimes I see David's picks, and I go, you know, I, if he, if I lose, I hope he wins, but I can't bet this horse, right. and I'm sure he feels the same way. But in that case, I thought, you know, he's right, and I ended up throwing in a, a fifteen dollars in the try and hitting it for six dollars and making a score. Right. I played a I played a late double. I wasn't playing a lot yesterday. I played the late double. I, my best opinion was that late double would kept true on the. Freaky styling. I was happy to what get almost seven dollars a pick, six ninety. I was happy to. I was the exact in the eighth. I should have had the exact. Yeah, exact well, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Anyway, I'm going to take preferred outcome. Who's got race that can win it? I know it's a muddy track, but I think the field that he ran against here last year was every bit as good, if not better, than this one. He can handle all surfaces. He's been in good form. He had no shot in his last race at Finger Lake, getting run off the, his feet. Right, Becca won like six in a row. Right, there. big shock. So I just thought he'd be a little bit of a price, and I thought I could make enough of a case for him. I'm not going to sit here and expound on his chances here. Agreed. Because this race, I don't think there's anybody in this you, race that you can say, this is absolutely why absolutely I like him. And I think not. one of the things that makes these fifth, sixth, and seventh race sequence difficult is there's no center to these races. There's no, well, this really is the best horse, and he's supposed to win this race, but. I'll tell you something you can do in a race like the five, six, seven. You can throw away 27 bucks on a pick three part wheel, and if you get right, you're gonna, you're gonna, you can hit Canada. Mm. Yeah, tough to go three by three by three and hit it. Stan the Man in race number eight, the Queens County. We were talking about, my friend Craig Wilkowski post, was posting about it on Twitter, uh, the great evening attire who won this race is a three-year-old and a nine-year-old. Amazing. Uh, no, I loved evening attire. You and I were talking about it for about 45 minutes in my office, right? Yep. For, and I mean, you know, horses like, one of the great things in the game are horses you remember.
remember, and horses like that that were around so long. Uh, and Stand the Man's a really cool horse, but he's got to get nine furlongs off a layoff. Anthony, I struggled mightily with this race, and this was a good one for me. I think I had a little of Nicodemus. Yeah, I remember um, that. Uh, that was Derby Day. He's, he, um, it, he is the best horse in this race, and I just, I didn't like anybody else enough to pick against him. He was entered in one of the first two canceled editions. First two. The first he two. was in both of them. Yeah. Uh, and now is going to, is highway. not going to run in the Gravesend tomorrow. I'm assuming friends fire. Well, they said when well, they didn't away. re-enter him in the Fall Highway. John Terranova said was gonna said it. he's going to wait and run him in the Queens County. And it used to be a mile and three sixteenths. Nine furlongs off the break is going to be awful. This horse was running nine furlongs one time. He got loose on the lead against Weather Wiz and just kept well, going. It's not like there's a ton of speed no, in here. No, there's not a ton of I mean, speed. I you think here, Major Cavi will look at him? Two back is going to go. I, maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. But I think Stan the Man will be sitting second behind him. I'll be honest. I tried to make Major Cavi, and he would be my second choice. Anthony, I just don't know if he's good enough. Yeah, you know what though, Andy? It's almost he's like today. Get Nine furlongs too. By yeah, the way. he does. It's almost like today's his real test too, right? I agree. Because since Peter Miller took him over, he wins. He gets involved in an impossible pace at Del Mar. Then he runs on the turf. Then he rattles off two in a row, and he runs him in the Clark. And truth of the matter is, he gets beat less than eight lengths in the Clark, and that's not really a terrible race. But he has horses like Stan the Man who can go to the lead. Even Roman Union drawn inside. Roman Union almost has to leave for some position. Now. I don't well, know if he's, he's fast not enough. Impossible. He's not impossible no. in here. I think if Stan the Man the doesn't win this race. Roman Union, Major Cabby, at Backside of the Moon are all major players in here. I agree. I mean, I don't think Backside of the Moon is impossible. I don't like him probably as much as you do, but I agree with you. I don't think he's impossible. You know, he's run well at a mile and eight before. This race could very well be who, if there's three horses in here that look like they have speed. The one, two, and four. I don't think it breaks down to who has the lead. I don't think it breaks down to who has the lead. I think it breaks down to who can work out the trip off of the other two. I, I think at the end of the day, if Stan the Man is ready and he runs his race, he's going to win. I think that's hard I think to, he's I think a it's hard to argue that. I think, the I think, question is how much you can trust him, and I don't totally trust roaming, him. Uh, roaming Union and Major Cabby would both have to improve, as would Backside of the Moon. If, if, My if favorite, Stan Queens the Man's County, ready. 1987. Do you remember who won in 1987? I was 10. Uh, personal flag, one of my favorites, Personal Ensign's brother. All right. And the race before it, Fam Jandarm won. I remember him. First time for uh, Old Man Dutro, yep. Rick's dad. Yep. Paid $60, made a big score. Yep. There was an instant double because the Queens County is a four horse field. Four field. Paid that I remember was a short field. dollar double. Wow. Got the cash. The instant, remember the old instant doubles? Could forget. I can never forget that one. Race number nine used to be the thing, that was Thanksgiving Day. Mm -hmm. Used to be the Thanksgiving Day feature. Race number nine, this was one, we'll take a look at the new Miami, the six horse, who you have on top and I have second. Mm -hmm. I wanted to show the first quarter mile of his first race. He's the number five horse breaking. He gets left a bit. You know what it seemed to me? It seemed to me that he may have been having some issues with kickback in this race. Didn't it feel that. like the way his head was carried and Eric was sort of trying to motivate him and he kind of was, you know, like Richie would say, and you know, I always get, you know, tease Richie about you overusing things. This one looks like Richie would say, running with the emergency break on. Yes. You know, it really does. And I think that getting left in the racetrack really hurt him in there. Now, obviously, he's got a break today, but. You know, I think he's one of the main two players for Gary Gold. Me too. I mean, look, it, it, you know me. I worry about the, the the troubles at the break more so than most. He ran a little bit too. He did a little he, bit. He did. He ran a little bit at the end of the race. It's almost like a little bit. he was a little green and he was a little, you know, apprehensive at first. And I think he's, just, you know, these horses are inexperienced. They're young. She's still two uh, for another ten days or so. I, you know, I'm just. Did you get a present? I'm hoping I didn't. I'm just hoping that uh, I always ask my dad if he got his horses presents we when got I was a kid. Downstairs. Oh, we do. Uh, and pizzas on the I like way. the seven in this race more okay. diamonds. I think that was just uh, I think too. people should re remember that November 21st is the day you did not want to be on the rail. And uh, this horse was stuck right down, went right to the lead, buried down on the rail, and uh, didn't even really run that badly. I think more diamonds is very, very dangerous in here. And Declan Carroll is an aggressive rider, so I think he's going to be aggressive Speed in here. In the debut, gets I'm going to key on the six and seven in this okay, race. Yeah. I'd love to. I'd love to somehow get alive in some multis with a six and seven here. I don't know if I can possibly do it, but uh, it's a fun, fun card today. Yes, it is. I don't, you don't have to be smart. I think you can find a, a situation in the middle of the card to be smart once you'll have a good day anyway uh, Johnny I is upstairs with a reprise of the scratches and changes